the devil has not scorched you yet, eh? Perfetto. There is a man in the village named Grind, the head fisherman. The rest of Stalwart kisses his feet because he fills their stinking plates with speckleback. But I know he's not as virtuous as he seems. That self-righteous meddler engineered my eviction from the village. He turned them all against me. Now I want him to feel the scorn of those mush-brained imbeciles. Humiliate him, of course. Show his neighbors what he truly is. And let him live with the disgrace. He's always been a ripple sponge addict. Just got good at hiding it once his sainted sister died and left him in charge of the fishery. But he keeps a stash in the fishery, sneaks in at night when the others have gone home, and emerges sluggish and red-eyed a few hours later. I want you to expose him. Go to the fishery after dark when it's empty. Find his ripple sponge and show it to Renengild. Do not answer me now. But when you return to that festering eyesore and smell the stink of fish that hangs in the air, consider what I've said. Besides, you appreciate a good joke, don't you? De Verus, this will be a great one. But be sure to approach the fishery by night, when it's empty. They will give you no end of trouble if they see you stealing during the day. It's past midnight. Go! To raid Ceres, or Defiance Bay, or fucking Air Glonfoth, I don't care! I'll tell them. Mayor Cena healed. The neighbors, everyone. But what? The stealing. You think I haven't noticed the money missing from the fishery coffers? Or heard Tana talk about losing a golden duke? You can't be found when there's work to do. But every time those merchant wagons roll into town, you've got coin enough for a few bags of ripple sponge. No. It's not. Stalwart tolerates your sponge habit, but they won't abide your thieving. You won't. I will. You take shelter in our village and then ransack it like a common thief? You'd better explain yourself! Uh, 
Any who put stock in the ravings of that bitter old fool deserve all the trouble they get. It was an accident. I was a failure and a wretch then. But I, I never would have killed anyone. Least of all my own kin. I gave her body to the lake. But I kept her bracelet. To remember the cost of my own weakness. I ain't asking for forgiveness. I know I don't deserve any. My penance is my work on behalf of the village. And they need it, truly. You've seen the shape this place is in. Have mercy on Stalward, if not on me. Let me do the work Arda would have done. That's my debt to Stalward, and the only fitting way to honor my sister. Thank you. Stalwart may not know what you've done for them tonight, but they'll hear of your honor. <laughs>